PVW today. Me and a couple of my mates right here at a restaurant called Wallace is a local Indian restaurant um, in the suburb of Annalee in Brisbane. Really good restaurant. I've been here twice. Actually, I got takeout once, dine in here once, and it's spectacular. Like homemade, family, beautiful, beautiful food, and um, you know. They, you know, they put their effort into making this because they take their time. But all the gravies are different. Everything's, everything's got its own flair. And here, if we get a piece of chicken tikka masala and this cheese and spinach naan, which I'll show you in the basket here, looks amazing. Um, then you'll really understand. If you go here, you'll be in for it. Immediately, I get the chicken tikka flavor, the gravy the chicken tikka, the marination, the spices on the chicken tikka itself. So when it's been put in it, well, look at that cheese pool. Look at that fresh cheese on that. That string of cheese like that. Awesome. So when they've got like a chicken tikka, they put it in the tandoor. They, it's like a clay pot oven that goes into the ground. And they got the gravy and they've got the cheese spinach naan as well. They put that in the tandoor as well. And here, what I'm getting is not so much of the tomato, but very smoky flavors. Very tender chicken. It is. I've got to say, tender chicken. Look at that cheese ball. Cheese ball, man. You don't get that with naans usually. You don't get that with naans usually. Oh yeah. You know, usually all the naans are like. They're already made, they've been sitting for a while, but this is fresh, it's fresh stuff. Cheese and spinach is probably the best naan. Yeah, I've ever seen it. Yeah. And I recommend you try this. Very, it's got a lot of capsicum heavy as well. Pretty capsicum heavy. Onion piece. Very smoky. Very smoky. But a delight to have. Cheese pool, never ending. Spice. Spices, very tolerable. I ordered it Medium. spicy. Not that bad. I think mean, for my palate, it's not that bad. Bro, I, it all depends. It all depends on taste. Could it be a bit hotter? Yeah, probably a bit hotter. So yeah, overall verdict for the uh, restaurant would be an eight point six five out of ten. So chicken curry, the food, the naans, the lassi, all were excellent. But I do want to uh, put out a few points. So with the chicken curry, it was very capsicum heavy. I, I'm a capsicum fan, but it was. You could really feel the roast capsicum building up. And the spice actually built up. Like, contrary to what I said before, uh, it built up a lot more and it was it was a good amount of spice. It was, uh, you know, you know it, was, it was tolerable for me, but probably wouldn't be tolerable for someone who hasn't been as experienced in the spice realm. Definitely go give it a try if you're in the Annalee, Brisbane sort of area. A uh, really good restaurant, really good family-owned restaurant. At the uh, Mango Lessie was great, but it was just a bit more on the watery side. I'd have liked it to be a bit thicker, um, because I like my Mango Lessie's a bit thicker. But the good thing was, because the meal was so filling, I wasn't, like, crazy stuffed by the end of it. You know, I I'm, I'm full now, but obviously I prefer my, my Mango Lessie a bit thicker. Overall, everything else, like, I'm really happy that they put time and effort into putting the gravies and everything. Like, different gravies for each different thing. Like... Most Indian places, believe it or not, uh, you know, it sounds pretty funny that I might be stating the obvious, but I'm not. But most Indian places, unfortunately, um, you'd think they use different gravies for curries, but they don't. They use the same gravy for some chicken curries and, and they just put different names and they might add one thing or just remove one thing. And, you know, it's not really the greatest. So in that way, um, they've done a really good job and it's solid. So 8.65 out of 10. Um and uh, there was a spinach curry, uh, one of my mates, I just had a bit, and it was all right. It was just very buttery and um, very spinachy. But I guess you, you pay for what you order. So uh, he liked it. So that's what matters. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Merry Christmas and a happy new year.